Namaste, my beautiful goddesses, my beautiful queens. Uh, there will be no cards in this reading, but the subject I will be talking is extremely, extremely, extremely important. If you want to stop suffering and uh, completely start new and uh, change your life. Before I, I decided that I'm going to explain what I'm going to do in that healing session, I'm going to record tonight when everybody's sleeping and when it's very quiet. But before I do that session, I must explain to you why it must be done. I am sure many and many of you are familiar with that feeling, if not all of you, I'm pretty sure all of you, that you have been with the wrong man. This is you. You have that fire inside of you. This is how we are designed. This is how we are created. We have the light, the source, or uh, the light of the source in us. This is a man who uh, we loved or we uh, were in love or we were living with or we were married to or engaged anyway. We were connected to this man, either karmically or through past life or through this life anyways. This is you. This is your man. And the situation happened in such way when this man is no good. When this man is a narcissistic psychopath, when this man is pathological cheat, when this man humiliates you, when this man mistreats you, when this man is uh, anything, just maybe he's married and has you as the, uh, as his own toy and entertainment for years. Anyways, you know already, for example, all of us have been there, we know already that this is a journey nowhere. We clearly understand that this is absolutely going nowhere, but it's going to be getting worse and worse and worse. So with your mind, you decided, you decided that this is it. I am moving on. And I am walking away. The thing is, when you were with him, the light, while you love this man, because man does not, wow, what it was, the man does not produce this light, I already explained. Only female energy produces this light. Man produces this light when we love them. And when also they love us or just we love them and they then we hold with uh, we, we hold and create this light inside of them. What is this light? This light in a man is his creativity. It's his um, his ability to uh, live in such way when he can touch other people's hearts, when he sparks, when he uh, bubbles uh, uh, like champagne in a sunlight, so on and so on. We give them this light. But what happens if this man ain't no good, like my friend Hiral from France, she said, this ain't no good. What happens? You decide to walk away. When you walk away, even if you walk away, he is going to keep some of this light and be a parasite, a vampire, which is sucking your not blood, but your energy. Why this is happening? I'm going to explain very clearly. Uh, why, even when you decide you will walk away from him, you still, even if you do walk away, you still suffer, you still feel like you can't let go, uh, 
You still feel, in spite of all the hell he brought you through, you still miss him. And if he does this, you're going to fall to his feet. You're going to hate yourself for that. You're going to curse yourself for that. He's going to blink his lashes and you're going to run. And you're gonna, he's going to hurt you again, mistreat you again. But somehow you just can't let go. I will explain, my beautiful queens, why. When you communicate with a man, you have seven chakras, he has seven chakras. And uh, it depends on how developed you are, how uh, powerful you are, how many lives you've lived uh, before. So the string, imagine the string, the string comes from you to him. From the third art chakra, from the throat chakra, from the uh, heart chakra, anahata, from solar plexus chakra, so on. Depending on how long you have communicated, how strongly, how intentional your relationship were, those strings become thick and strong. So your energy goes to him. Your energy goes to him. Your energy, because we naturally, we feed them. Unfortunately, if they are in ego, which are 98% of them are in ego and don't listen to their soul at all. Why? Because listening to the soul will mean refusing from ego and 2% of men will refuse from ego. The rest will never do that. So uh, we are feeding them through these connections, through this string. No matter how he disbehaves, if we understand and realize this is it, this man is toxic, he only tortures me, I must go. Even if you go, you still feel that you can't somehow stop thinking of him. You can't stop uh, missing him. You can't stop uh, be sad over him, even if this is complete asshole. Sorry, my language. So there is one thing which needs to be done because this is what happens, girls. You keep on feeding him his success, his creativity, his well-being, his everything. You keep on giving him. He gives you nothing, but you keep on giving, you keep on giving, you keep on giving, you keep on giving. You are still connected with him, even if you are on another planet. These are the energetic strings. The more you were communicating, the more energies you were giving, the more strings are attached to him. So in order to completely remove this man from your life, these strings have to be cut completely. Those strings have to be brought back to you. And so your energy gets back to you. You stop losing your energy. You stop feeding him. What happened to him? His fire, ouch, his fire, his fire is gone. When you cut these strings, what can start happening? I won't be surprised if he's going to text you, if he's going to call you, if he's going to be angry, if he's going to knock your door, because especially a man who is capable of feeling uh, things, <clears throat> very little of them can, but especially the man who can feel things, um, he will know something happened. You completely cut him off. So he loses his food. He loses his emotional food his spiritual food and his energy food. This is as if it was a telephone and you are a charger. 
So this telephone no longer has a charger and this telephone slowly dying and he understands and realizes that charger says, screw you, I'm walking away, I'm not feeding you no more. I am taking what is mine. Exactly this words. I am taking what is mine. I don't need nothing yours. You keep yours. I am taking back what is mine. I am taking back my love. I am taking back my uh, light. I am taking back my energy. I am taking back everything I was giving you. And receiving nothing or receiving just uh, opposite of what you deserve to be receiving he's not gonna like it of course depending on your connection he can go and uh, find himself another battery but the thing is my beautiful Queens Many and many of you are that unique type of a battery. Absolutely unique. So he thinks to himself, oh, I can go and find myself another battery, two batteries, three batteries, ten batteries. Probably he can get charged and satisfied for quite a bit of time. Probably he can charge it and satisfy for um, uh, only a couple of hours. It's not your concern what he does. It's a not your concern. He can go to hell with soft L or hell with a hard L. He's not your concern anymore. He's out of your life. So he might call you, text you, try to get you back because he's going to be cut off of this energy. But this has to be completely cut off in order you to start all new and this session of cutting it off i am going to record later on tonight so it is quiet and um, you can lie down and relax and simply do it those strings need to be completely cut out because if those strings are still there, you are in pain, you are sad, you miss him even if he's absolute disaster, and you keep on supplying him with energies which make him happy, which make him, uh, you know, enjoying himself, everything. You keep on giving him his energy, your energy, which belongs to you. You keep on giving him without even being there for him because the connection is there even if you fly to the moon, to, to uh, Saturn or to uh, uh, Alpha Centauri or further than that. So in order to completely be done with this man, these all strings need to be cut out with a sharp, beautiful, shiny sword, completely cut out. And all the strings need to slowly come back inside of you. You are taking from him what belongs to you. And what happens to him after that is none of your concern. Because he didn't give a damn what you feel. He didn't give a damn when he um treated you wrong he didn't give it down when he didn't think the consequences of his actions towards you so why should you give a damn about him i don't see the point here but for those of you who want to keep on suffering for those of you who want to keep on be a doormat and wait for him to come give you mercy and wipe his feet and walk all over you, walk all over you. For those of you, of course, this is not a ritual. You can keep those strings, sit and wait for him for 20 more years 
until he no more has either his wife or 777 lovers anymore. Uh, and he's, he remembers you and thinks, oh my God, that was my true one. That was my real love. That was my real happiness. And he's going to come to you and say, hey, you know, let's start and do it all over again. And you're going to be happy and say, of course, I was sitting here and waiting for you. If, if it's something for you, uh, go ahead. But I do not want this to be for you. I want you to give this light to the one who will give this light back to you, equal to you. You give him love, he gives you love. You give him joy, he gives you joy. Not you give him love, he gives you pain. Not you give him love, he gives you uh, absolute uh, treatment as an empty space. You give him love, he uses you. You give him love, he uses you for sex, uses you for your talent, uses you for your gifts, uses you for whatever he wants to use you. You give him love and you receive absolute opposite of love. I want you to give him love and he give you love. I want you to give him joy and him to give you joy. I want you to be in harmony with yourself and with him and him to be in harmony with himself and with you enough of assholes sorry my girls enough of this enough of being a doormat enough of waiting until he has mercy comes to you and spends an hour with you or lies to you or promises you something you he's not gonna do or use you as a toy, as a toy truck, toy truck a fire truck, or, or girls, enough of this, enough of this, enough of this. Shine your light alone. Are you rather shine your light alone that you are going to be feeding some asshole? That's not worth it. It's self-destructing. It's self-destroying. It's disrespectful to yourself and disrespectful to God, whatever God you believe in, because this light right here is God, is source, is your higher self. God is not outside. He's not sitting in a cloud. He's not in stratosphere. He's not in a mosque, church, temple. Field, I mean, he is in field, he's in nature, or he, it is, I cannot say he, it's not a male. It's energy, it's everything. But this spark, your higher self, your soul, this fire in you is God. God shows itself in you, through you, through your actions through your creativity, through your talent, through your true light. And if you allow somebody to mistreat you, you're allowing somebody to mistreat God in you. Don't you dare to do that. Do not you dare to do this. This is the biggest thing uh, if you want to call it a sin, so a sin is allow someone to treat you not the way you deserve. Because this betraying yourself is betraying that light which is God in you. It's inside of you. Be a creator or be a destroyer. By allowing someone to mistreat you, you allow that someone to destroy you rise above it so uh in the second part uh, of this video i am going to record a healing session of cutting the strings with a man who you used to love or probably still love uh if you know for sure nothing good is coming out of it for seeing your questions, can twin flames do it? Absolutely. Yes, you can. On this level, you can. 
on a soul level, of course you can't. You have one soul, but you don't need to cut him on a soul level. You cut him here in uh, this dimension. But you don't need to feed him anymore if he treats you as an empty space or even worse than that. That you must never allow nobody to do with you. So in second part of this video, uh, I will do this session in which you will cut off that torture, the pain, get back your power and your energy and start all new. So far, um, I will talk to you later tonight. Namaste.